Hi, welcome back to Integration Guru channel. So today we are going to discuss about uh, JMS transporter. So the major difference between adapter and transport adapter you need to add an XSD or XSD. It is fully binding with that uh, uh, translator but coming into the transport uh, in the transport you can cannot bind any xsd or an xsd so easily we can send any type of message like text xml like any xml you can send which is not depends on the xsd and an xsd type so today we are going to uh, see demo on the uh, jms poc let's see here uh, go to the new and the project project uh, go to the service bus take the service bus project okay then make it as simple jms p o c sample okay done finish it i think you people may know how to create how to use a j developer how to create the SB uh, service bus projects so if you don't know please go and see our previous videos so we already explained about Geo developer and uh, creation of service bus projects okay uh, this is an empty project so here I am going to use here you can see adapters and transporters and the rest so I said like we are going to do demo on like insert transport go to the JMS transport and naming convention like JMS JMS read yes so naming convention bit important so whatever you are giving the naming condition it will go and reflect on our project so then the next so here you can take any type of like if you want to bind with some access to your results and you can take visitor so but here i don't want the bind uh, with any xsd so i want to send any type of xml so that's why i'm just selecting the any xml if you want to send json or some other format so select the message go here and take text file so if you want to send the binary you can go and select the binary so it's purely depend on how uh, your requirement so here i am taking any xml then i am just pressing the next so see here this is one of the important topic so how you are going to define your endpoint URI. so basically you need to know that your host name and the port and coming to this is like default connection factory of JMS so in server I already created a queue let me open console okay um, I think it's taking time yeah it's opened already first time searching test so yeah see here this is a test i created today uh, today so if you see you can see all the configuration on placed so what i'm going i'm going here i'm just replacing this with jms slash test then my port number is 7101 then i'm making finish so this is created but here it is showing because what i meant yesterday i used the same uh, test so that's why this is a consumption uh, this is a consumption service right so it should be unique so if you see my jms poc i already used this uri so that's why it is showing that error see here this is already i'm using so what i'm doing i want to change this name so this is a proxy go to the transport and make it as two okay just save it see now you don't see that 
error now it's a very simple uh, using protocol we can consume message from the queue so let me deploy this service into the our server let me see how my deployment went yeah this is already finished so i can see this project in my service bus see jms poc jms poc1 what is our so jms poc sample let's refresh this we have to see that our uh, project here yeah you can see here but i'm not going to test this one because already i have this so i'm going to test this service so what i'm doing i'm just placing some message into the queue let's open the queue just open and show message new message so let's see some test we go here test team xml payload just finish this code and okay see i don't see payload here so it means our service is working fine so it is pulling message from our queue and we are not uh, decided to write anywhere so in the next session we are going to know about how to use the file adapters and how to write the file into our local location so thanks everyone